One of the coolest things about Linux is that when you do a system update, and this is usually across every Linux distribution, when you do a system update, it updates everything on your system that was downloaded with the package manager, whether you use the GUI or the command line. When you're on Windows, usually you have to update everything piece by piece. So you download an application, you're in charge of keeping that specific application updated. And you have to do that for every application that you install. So there is no way on Windows without using a custom tool to update everything that you've ever downloaded, including the operating system. On Linux, it's a little bit different because you update the operating system and you install your applications usually with the same tool, whether that's something like DNF or apt or Pac-Man, whatever it is, usually that's the tool that you use to both update your operating system and install your applications. So when you do an update, it does all of those things all at once. However, in this newfangled age where you might not necessarily always get your applications through your package manager that comes with your distro, the updating situation is actually a little bit more complicated because your package manager is not going to be responsible for updating things that it didn't install. So if you are using things like snaps or flat packs or app images, or you've installed things through cargo or pip or whatever, your package manager is not going to touch those things at all, at least in most cases. So what's a guy to do? How do you keep your system completely up to date without having to specifically update everything from every single package manager that you happen to use? Well, the answer to that question is going to be an application called Topgrade. Now, Topgrade has been around for quite some time, at least a couple of years, I think, and it is a really interesting application, and it's actually fairly simple to use and install. So, basically what happens is that you run it, and it will update everything on your system, no matter what package manager was used to install it. So that means that if you installed something through Cargo or PIP or Snaps or Flatpaks or Pac-Man or DNF or whatever it is, it will update everything or at least it will attempt to update everything as you'll come to see. So the idea behind the tool is that it means that you don't have to keep track of where things come from and you can still keep everything on your system up to date. And that's really kind of cool. So. What I'm going to show you first is my first run of Topgrade, because if I ran it now, nothing would happen because all of my system stuff is up to date because I've already run the tool. So the B-roll you'll see now is my first run of Topgrade. And as you can see, the first thing that it does is it updates the system through the system's package manager. In this case, I'm running Fedora. So you are going to see it update through DNF. And it takes a little while. I'll speed that part up. After it's done is where it gets more interesting because if it just did the system package manager, it would be useless because it, then you'd just run the system package manager. You'd run, you'd run DNF or Pac-Man or apt or whatever it happens to be. You'd run that and just be done with it. But top grade is special because of what happens next. It goes through several different things that you have on your system and then upgrades them. So you'll see it up, try to update my GitHub repositories. You'll see it try to update Kakuni, or however the hell you say the odd ass text editor that I'm trying out for maybe a video. You'll see it update Flatpak. You'll see it update Pip and Cargo. And you'll see it update NeoVim. And it will try to update NeoVim plugins, which is nuts. So it will try to update pretty much everything on your system, including some things that I had no clue it was even going to try to update. So as you'll see in the B-roll, it was actually failed a couple times. So it failed on GitHub repositories. It, for whatever reason, would not take my SSH passphrase. I was typing it right. I know I was. So I don't know why that failed. It also failed on Kakuni, or however the hell you say that, that text editor. I, it just hung there for about a minute and it just did nothing so I canceled that out and it continued on and but everything else it succeeded on perfectly fine now the two areas where it failed I w it was easy enough to hit control C and have it ask me if I wanted to try again or just move past that it doesn't cancel the entire upgrade which is really nice because you don't that means you don't have to start over it just moves past that section that it failed on which is good now, the thing is, is there are a few things here that I wouldn't actually want it to be in charge of updating. So I don't want it to be in charge of pulling anything from my Git repos. 
I want to always make sure what is in my Git repositories locally is what's meant to be there. I don't want to have anything surprise me later on. So the cool thing about top grade is that if you do top grade dash dash help, there's no man page. So everything is done through dash dash help. You'll see that there's an option here called dash dash disable, and you can disable any of the things that it is in charge of updating. So, so the one thing that I wanted to remove is get repos. So I could do dash dash disable and then hit get repos and it would make sure that that wasn't updated at all, which is exactly what I'd want. And this also gives you a list of the things that it will update. So everything in this list are things that it will update. So ASDF, Adam, Brewcast, Brew Formula, Bin, Cargo, Chesmoi, Chesmoi. I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure that's like a dot files manager. I'm not actually sure. Chocolatey, which is for Windows, I believe. Choose, choosing them. There's a lot of stuff here that I don't even know what it is. It's Composer, Conda, and the list just goes on and on. DebGet, which is actually fairly new. Emacs, Firmware, Flatpak, Flutter, Fossil, Gcloud, Gemma. It just, like I said, goes on and on and on and on. Some of the stuff is not for Linux. Some of it's for Mac and Windows because this is also available on Mac and Windows. But you can see that there's quite a few things here that it will attempt to go through and update for you, including system firmware, which is something that I had no clue it would even do, which is kind of cool. Now, if you didn't want to use the flags in the command in order to configure your top grade, you can have a configuration file on your system for this, which will allow you to have much more control over how top grade runs. So you can have top grade refuse to ask for confirmation, so it will just move through the whole thing without ever asking you whether or not you, it should carry on, which is something that you do have to pay attention to. So especially if you're during the portion where it's using your package manager, there's almost always a part there where it's asking you to confirm whether or not you want to install all the stuff. By default, you have to hit yes. You can turn that off in the configuration file. You can turn off the ask to retry dialog. So if you've canceled part of the upgrade, it usually asks you if you want to retry, you can turn that part off. There's a few arguments here for SSH and Tmux, which is interesting if you're going to be using either of those things for this. There are sections here for you to add specific flags to whatever package manager you're using. So if you're using, say for example, Pamac or Pacman, you can add different flags to that during the top grade process. So for example, the PAMAC one is you can add dash dash no develop. I'm assuming you can add whatever flags that you want here. All you'd have to do is put them within the quotation marks. So that's also kind of cool. If you if you use a specific flag for your package manager and you want to still use that during the top grade process, you can do so right here in the configuration file. Now I don't have a configuration file on my system. You would put this in dot config so if you end up doing that, you can just create that file and then put this example one here, which is on their GitHub page, which I'll link in the video description. So you can find all this stuff there. And if you run this on Mac and Windows, there's obviously several other options you can use as well. So that is the configuration file. Now, the one thing that I didn't cover is that it does use sudo, so you will have to enter your password, but that shouldn't be a surprise because every update usually requires you to do sudo in some form or fashion. So just keep that in mind. It's not something that you can schedule via a like cron job or something like that. You have to be around to run this. If you want to do an automated update, you'd have to do something else. So the thing about top grade is that it's astonishingly simple. It is very very easy to use. There's not a lot of options. There is one other option that I didn't cover that is actually really cool. Let me see if I can show you that. That is the dash n option or dash dash dry run. If you want to run top grade but not have it actually do anything, you just want to see what it would do, you can use the dash dash dry run option for it to go through the entire upgrade process but not actually make any changes. So we'll just show you the output of the command. So it'd be similar to Gentoo that has the pretend option. So if you've ever used a merge on Gentoo that has a pretend option and it would allow you to, I think that's what it's called, it, it would allow you to run the package manager in Gentoo. To, it would show you what would happen if you ran it but it wouldn't actually make any changes. That's what this does here and that's really cool because not every package manager has that. And the ability to see what happens with all of your updates but without actually updating anything is cool. So that's definitely something that I 
would make use of in the future. So that is top grade. And like I said, it's an astonishingly simple application. And it's definitely one that I'm going to be keeping on my system for a long time to come because I've been using DNF, I've been using Cargo, I've been using uh, PIP, and I've, I've, I've been using Flatpak to install a whole bunch of applications because I don't have the AUR anymore, right? So I've been installing applications for a lot from a lot more different sources than I usually did when I was on Arch. So TopGrade is a tool that is really going to help me. Uh, someone suggested TopGrade to me in a comment on a YouTube video a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I did not write it down. So whoever you are, thank you for suggesting this because this is awesome. So again, thank you. If you have comments on TopGrade, you can leave those in the comment section below, just below the like button. Make sure you hit the like button. It really does help the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Both of those links will be in the video description along with all my other social media networks, Amazon wishlist, all those kind of things. Those are in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast, just like all these Pine people, and I still haven't fixed the graphics, so I'm going to do that, I promise. Anyways, uh, thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon and YouTube. I truly do appreciate it. I, I always just kind of stumble over myself trying to find the words, but I usually end up on the words thank you. So thank you so very much for supporting me. I just, it, you guys are all amazing. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.